Who would have knew I'm better at driving a toy car than a real one? Now what? This is the joy of reselling. Hi guys, it's Adam. Um, very quick Thursday talks this week. Um, probably going to be about five minutes, six minutes. Um, the reason for that is I've just got tons to do today. I decided last night to take my uh, Amazon account down to basic until fourth quarter. And then at fourth quarter, I'll reinstate my pro and um, just like hammer stock, hammer up stock there, uh, hammer stock up there even. Um, and I'm going to not send in any void fill because with the basic account, you know, you've got this 75 pence extra charge. So if I sent in an item that was five quid or six quid, then there's literally like nothing in it for me. So um, I'm not sending in void fill anymore. Uh, until I get my pro account back again um, and I'm also what I'm doing today is taking look basically looking at the shelves looking at my listings and taking off any crap just anything that's crap um, yeah I mean like board games that like the original scene it's I've had for ages and um, I don't know just really low value ones just that aren't really worth doing uh, I think I've got a couple of Mo Monopoly Juniors that I might take off. Um, I don't know, a lot of it's in here now. Most of the vintage stuff will stay. I think pretty much all of that will stay. Because I know that will go um, in the next few months or maybe at Christmas time. But yeah, any sort of bog standard ones that are really low value are just going to go. Um, and for the most part i only paid 50p a game so it's not like i'm writing off huge sums of of, of money you know in in terms of stock um you know money that i've got invested in sh stock should i say and yeah all the ones that i'm going to pull off are going to charity shops um i pr probably end up pulling off about 15 to 20 i don't think there's tons um but that's going to annoy me because i'm at 467 listings and I really want to get to 500 and then I'm going to pull off obviously I'm going to take off these like 20 or so and then I'll be down to 447 and they'll be like oh no I want to get to 500 but I know I'll get there it's just a matter of time I've been listing like crazy this week I've done I'm on bang on 60 listings this week uh, and one Thursday so I mean if I kept up this pace it'd be pretty much 100 120 listings in the week which I am really, really happy with if I could get to that. Um, I might not get to that, but I don't know. Um, anyway, as I say, it's going to be a really short episode. I'm rambling already. The reason for that, as I've mentioned, is I've just got tons to do. So without further ado, and without me rambling, I will get into the questions. Um, I'll probably answer two questions. I think I've got four. But what I'll do is I'll answer the other two in the comment section. Um, and I'll answer the basically the, the more complicated ones on the video and the easier ones to answer I'll just who oh, did that come up um, the easier ones to answer I will answer in the comments um, so Alex asks do I have any liability insurance um, and the short answer is no the long answer is I really need to look into that um, if I was full-time and Alex said um, he thinks it's probably not needed if it was part if i was part you know because i'm part-time even um but it would you know it wouldn't be needed if i was full-time and i agree with him um yeah if i was full-time i would definitely be all over insurances and all that sort of stuff um to be honest i don't think i'd need like public liability in this room or anything um but certainly things like um, you know, like uh, if there was a fire or a flood or something like. I mean, I don't think a flood's too too much of a problem because I'm on the, uh, you know, the I'm on, I'm upstairs. I was gonna say I'm the first floor then, but there's not even a second floor, so I suppose it's a bit weird saying first floor. Um, yeah, I'm I'm upstairs, so 
unless it was a really big flood, I don't think it's going to, you know, give me too much damage. But I suppose, yeah, I don't know. Can floods, the floods, even if they're downstairs, affect to be upstairs? I'm sure I've heard something about that because even if the water's downstairs, then it can affect things upstairs. But I don't know. Um, but anyway, I need to, yeah, that would be something I need to look into. The whole fire and water damage and all that sort of stuff. Protection against that. So then I don't just lose all my stock. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not legally savvy or insurance savvy. So I'd, I can't really comment much on this question. Except to, for to say that no, I don't have any insurance. And yes, I will be looking into getting insurance in the future. Um, and that's a definite. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'll pretty much leave it there at that question, but it was a, it was a good question to ask. Um, a bit of a different question, actually, that, I, that I've not really had on here before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, definitely the fire and the water, I, I'd say I definitely need some sort of protection against my stock. So I'll leave it there on that one. And the other one that sprung to mind that I looked at in the comments were, was, um, I think his name was Joel. And it follows on from last week, last week's question, so that's why I thought I'd answer this one. Um, and it's about Argos Click and Collect. Basically, um, he said, last week's question was about, oh, what was it? Using Argos Click and Collect, just generally using it, I think. Um, and he asked, can you, can you basically um, enable it when you're listing on your mobile? So is there a button to in the postage section to say, or, you know, use Argos Click and Collect or whatever, um, or add Argos Click and Collect to your listing. Um, and I don't, I've never seen one on the mobile. So, I, like, what, for some reason, it's like enabled on all my listings. I don't know why, but I, I continually get sales from it. It might actually only be enabled on, like, a certain portion of my listings, but if you want to add it to your listings or you want to remove it from your listings, I'm assuming you can go into your bulk editor and go into your postage options and remove it in there. I mean, I, I imagine so. Um, but yeah, for some reason, it's just on most of my listings. I, I did add it to... I ticked, ticked a box. when I, was, I used to list on my computer. And when I was listening on my computer, I thought... I, I read into it what it was and then I ticked the box on one listing. And I think it automatically saves... So then every new listing just has it on, but I don't know, I, I may be wrong on that, but it seems like all my listings have it on, so it just seems like that's what's happened. Uh, but in terms of mobile, I don't know, I think you have to go into your computer and list on your computer, and then tick the Argos click and collect box. Um, yeah, but that, that was, yeah, that was an interesting question as well, because I, I did go into the app and have a look, and I don't think I saw anything on the postage option about Argos click and collect so um oh actually did I click the show more button mm, I don't know it may be on the show more I don't know I can't remember now but um if you basically if you're listing an item just go in the postage thing and just click the show more and it might be under there but I don't think it was um anyway that'll do it for this video as I say I wanted to keep this really short um I've got plenty to be getting on with so yeah, I will leave it there. Uh, as always, drop your questions below for next week's episode. And I will be doing a, a you know, a 20, 25 minute episode next week. Um, but I just didn't want the hassle with the editing and all that sort of stuff this week. So just a nice, quick, short episode. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video, uh, which will probably be, uh, well, I should say definitely. So then I've committed myself to doing it. Um, it will definitely be the minifigure vid. I need to show you all the minifigures I've got. And there's some cracking ones in there. You know, sort of 10 quid minifigures in there. Um, there's no no outstanding, outstanding ones. But there's some really cool looking minifigs. Um, but yeah, in terms of value, there's, I think there ha there's quite a few 10 quid ones. Like 9 quid ones. Um, but there's... Um, yeah, there's no like outstanding like 30 quid minifigures, but I didn't expect that. So um, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I've got. So yeah, anyway, I will leave it there, guys. As I say, 
uh, put your questions below for next week and I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>